Mid game is one of the hardest stages in B Swarm other than end game. And today I'm gonna give you a guide of what to do uh, with your hive and other stuff. So stay tuned on with the video. I hope you like this guide and that it will help you. So let's get on with the video. Let's clarify what a mid game player is. I think you would have the porcelain gear and like around the honey mask and that you're a 35 B zone and starting to do spear bear. So I'm pretty sure that is that, but I, I do hear people saying it's like, oh, SSA is mid game. But I think if you have SSA and you're something like me with SSA, Tide Popper and stuff, I think that's pretty much already end game. But yeah, so first of all, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people need to know about, and that is eggs. We all did this before, and you are not going to want to use your diamond eggs nor golden eggs on your hive when you're starting out. Now, I'm going to give you a reason for that, because you might get them from like Black Bear and stuff from his quest. So first of all, diamond eggs. Um, you will need five for the diamond mask, which, like I said, it costs five to get. Now, I used some when I was uh, like early game, so I was missing one for a little, but I did eventually get it. And then for the gold eggs, you will need it for the honey mask. So yeah, that's that for eggs you're also not gonna want to use your star eggs until you have all of these gifted and that you're only missing mythics so that's that for the eggs but now that we're talking about bees for right now we're gonna go for basic b right now for basic b i know you might use like a star treat or something but do not do this the easiest way is to keep buying basic eggs until you get one. It's about one in like 287, I'm pretty sure, of basic eggs. So yeah, you can also gift it with sunflower seeds, but I would not recommend anything other than using basic eggs because it's pretty much like the easiest way to get it. So please, please do not use a star egg or sunflower seeds. But if you are really down bad to get basic bee with sunflower seeds and you have a lot, then you can. But I would still just recommend to use basic eggs. Now that we're talking about hives though, we're going to talk about what hive you should try to get for better honey and better uh like for doing quests and everything and it's gonna be very very good for getting ssa because you do need 40 gifted bees so let's start with the hive you're basically gonna want every single bee in your hive so like all of these all of these maybe some event bees if you can gift some with star treats unless it's bees miss and you do have gingerbread but i would still not recommend that but so yeah you're gonna get one of every bee and when you're finished and you only need some mythic bees then like i said with the star eggs then that's what it's used for so it's gonna be really really easy you can buy star eggs but you also do get one from mother rare and i'm pretty sure from panda bear too you can correct me in the comments but i'm pretty sure it's from those you get a star egg and you can uh not waste them like i said for your mythic bees if you're trying to get some for ssa and SSA is very overpowered, which will help you doing uh, Grandma Bear over here. So, Spear Bear will give you a pedal every 10, um, 10 quest. 
I did make a video and I will put it up here so you can go check that out. I'm not really going to talk about it in this video, but you can check that out after you finish watching this video. So yeah. And so basically, if you're mid game or whatever, you're going to try to do all black bear quests for mythic eggs and all spirit bear quests and also like other stuff like a dapper bear and on it quest which is pretty op if i remember but i'm not really sure but if we're talking after mid game when you have a ssa and you want to be a color i would say go blue first it is the cheapest hive to go for starters like you see i was a red level 13 with like a couple precise and a, like two spicy bees and i was not making a lot so you know what i did i got bubble bees and frosty bees and other bees i already had like a gifted boing and gifted tadpole in my hive but yeah as you see on the screen Right here, I became like kind of a pro, trying to get level 18 now. So yeah, that's pretty much that for the mid game guide. If I did miss anything, I will make another video probably. So you can tell me in the comments what I missed or what I said wrong, or if you think I you have a better opinion or something you can tell me in the comments i will see them and yeah this was just a quick guide to help you mid game players but yeah that's pretty much it for the video i'll see you guys in the next beast video goodbye